my afternoon class. It is Monday, December 7th, our second remote learning day, and I'm here to record this. It's early in my day, but I hope you have a chance to check into it today. I have a few meetings to attend later. I'd much rather be playing with you guys. new jobs this week since it's Monday. So the first one on the list is Sky is going to be kid counter this week. We'll give you a little heads up for that. So Sky and everybody we're going to count. We have nine kids in our class. Ready? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine kids in our afternoon class. Our second job is the Pledge of Allegiance. That's going to be Skylar. And Skylar, this is what you will do. You'll say, everybody stand up. Put your right hand out. Wiggle it, wiggle it. Stick it on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Next on our job list is the calendar, and William's going to be our calendar helper this week. Ooh, I know you're excited. You are all excited about your jobs. So now, our calendar, I came in and I added Saturday, the 5th, and Sunday the 6th. You were not, we were here. But I'm here today, and you're at home, and this is what the date is. What is that number? Seven. It is December 7th. Let's count to seven. We've been in December a whole week. Ready? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A whole week. There are seven days in a week. Remember that? Okay. Let's do the months of the year. Here it is. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year 2020. Next month will be January 2021. I cannot believe that. So the days of the week. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. I like to, to show the old the kids who have done with this that you can do seven like this. Four plus three is seven. Three plus four is seven. They all equal seven. Seven days in the week. Okay, let's see what day of the week is today. Sunday. Monday! It is Monday, December 7th, 2020. I see a pattern. I see a pattern. Say it with us. Star, bell, star, bell, star, bell, star. Did you get it? Star, bell, star, bell, star bell, star, 
bell. Tomorrow will be the bell. That is an A B pattern. Very easy pattern we're working on. So now it's time for the weather. And our weather person is going to be Declan. When he comes in, he's going to come on over to the weather station, get Weather Frog on there. Okay. What is the weather? Weather, weather. What is the weather like today? So it's here in the morning I'm recording this. So you, hopefully the sun may be out in the afternoon if you guys watch this in the afternoon. Right now it is very cloudy. I have my shade wide open because the sun's not shining on my computer. And our little penguin guy, he's really not dancing today because he is solar powered. He's powered by the sun and there's no sun shining, so he's still sleeping. So we're going to call today a cloudy day. We're going to make a tally right down here. We've had three cloudy days in December and two sunny days so far. So we're going to move on over here. We're still going to keep it cloudy, but it's no snow or rain. It's going to be a great week. Today I didn't have to wear my heavy winter coat. I just wore my medium coat because it was cool. And so then we are going to dress Weather Frog for a cool, cloudy fall day. Put the pants on. Awesome. Okay, he is ready. So we're going to go back over here and finish with our letter jobs. Do you see this, the new letter? It is B, capital B. So you know last week was P, so we just added another circle, another half circle for B, capital B. So let me show you what our picture is for the week. Oh, it's a butterfly. B is for butterfly. Yes, so the letter person this week, letter and number will be Ethan. Ethan, I'm going to show you this game that you can play. And friends, this is starfall.com, another resource. This is one of the few games I take from Starfall, but you can check that out too. Starfall has some things. B. B. I am going to get you, B. That B. Oh. Land it on the B. Ooh, what is that? Let's see. B. Ball. Bouncing ball. It's a bouncing blue ball. <coughs> What is this? Who is that? B boy. I am a boy. He is a boy. Are you a boy or are you a girl? B oh, what is that? B bear. A bear? Big brown bear. Big brown bear. Oh, now get near the bear. B nice work. Capital, capital B, B. lowercase B. B. We're going to see what the B brings. Capital B, I call it uppercase B. A lowercase B, we can slide it over to the flower. Uppercase B. Oh, another uppercase B, another capital B. Oh, there, that's all four capital Bs. Lowercase B. A lowercase b, one more, and another one. So we did it! Backpack bear. Now we get to watch Backpack Bear dance with Backpack Bear. Isn't he great? You can dance with him. Thank you, Backpack Bear. The number of the week is 17. So that will also be Ethan's job. Number 17. That is 17. Select the car. So we'll pick a favorite race car. I'll pick red this week, hopefully. Maybe, maybe it's not working on me. I'm going to try. I always pick no. I'm going to run it from my other computer here. I'm going to pick a red car. Number oh, 17. All right, we click on, we do not click on that eight. That eight 
Awesome. We gotta get that race car out to the finish line. 17. Is that 17? Or is that 17? That's 17. 17. How about that? No, that's 13. Let's turn it to 17. 17. Oh, I can't go through the wall. And that's 19. Oh, there's 17. 17. Whoa! 17. We're making 17. us work. 17. All around, we're almost there. 17. Yay, we oh, made it to the finish line. 17. This is abcmouse.com, friends. Hooray! So now, the color and the shape game is for Eve. That would be Evie's job this week. We are still doing the color green. So here's a different puzzle. Things that are green, not necessarily food. You've got alligator. Alligator. Peas. Peas and a frog. Leaf. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Green. These green are all green. All around. We don't see yeah, much puzzle. More tickets. I don't know. I have never reimbursed my tickets. I do not know what those are for. And so Evie's going to also do the diamond puzzle. This puzzle asks us how many diamonds on here. So we know there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times five. Now that's too much. That's an older skill. Seven times five. Thirty-five. And sometimes we just don't have the time to count them all, but maybe you can take time to count. Thirty-five diamonds. There we go. We also call it a rhombus. We are done with our jobs for the opening activities. Thank you for joining me today. So now it'll be snack time. Um, if you've already eaten your snack, there was another snack in your backpack for Monday. Then I am going to record today another, maybe one or two stories that have to do with gingerbread people. And then you'll kind of compare to see how it's the same as gingerbread baby or how it's different from gingerbread baby. And also just continue with your stickers and stencils, uh, the little baggie, and then make sure you go outside and play. It's going to be a great week today, this week. And I thank you for those who sent me pictures and checked in on either email or seesaw and sent me pictures of what your kids are doing at home. It just made us feel really good. So I hope you have a great Monday uh, and make sure you have, take time to be kind. So we'll see most of you tomorrow. Thank you very much.